Okay, there are antonyms that are also used as a uh, analog question. Okay, so in uh, these uh, type of questions, a word is given, and the antonym of that word is given on the opposite side. Okay, uh, a very common example is if, uh, for example, we have interesting on one hand, then uh, we make a sentence like the opposite of interesting is boring. Okay, so a sentence uh, that we'll make would be more like uh, that the opposite of interesting is boring. Or for, for example, the adversity okay by adversity we mean difficulties in life okay problems that we face in life they are called adversity uh, there is one uh, quite interesting uh, you know a proverb a saying that is go that goes with this adversity uh, it, 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 it feels like adversity adversity reveals genius okay and prosperity conceals it okay so uh, interestingly we have uh, uh, the opposite of adversity as well in this uh, saying it is by horace horace uh, was one of uh, uh, thinker philosopher who said that uh, by this he means that if there are difficulties and problems in your life they will bring the genius in you everybody every individual is a genius every individual has uh, potential that is uh, unlimited okay uh, there is uh, no end to the potential that every individual has uh, who has come on this planet earth but uh, we have to figure out do that potential we have to struggle to uh, bring it out and show it to the world and one of the best ways through which genius can come out your potential can come out is through difficulties through problems in life you know like we, we all uh, want to run away from the problems but uh, interestingly it's just the adversity problem that can bring best in you. So if there are problems in your life, you are going to be a genius. And if there's prosperity, there is peace, happiness, everything is fine. You know, uh, you don't have to struggle much. You will not be a genius. All the genius that we have so far, uh, since uh, uh, the beginning of uh, mankind, all the geniuses, are those individuals who have gone through from you know very difficult times very difficult times of their life so adversity and on the other hand we have prosperity okay one of the alternative of adversity is like happiness now, this could be an alternative but adversity prosperity that is it If uh, there is uh, vehemence, okay, uh, by vehemence we mean that there are troubles, okay, uh, there is no peace in your life, you are always uh, in a trouble like adversity, okay, uh, so you feel that uh, you are on the edge of something all the time. What is the opposite of it? The opposite is serenity. Uh, serenity is peace, cool, calmness. Okay, you are uh, quite relaxed and comfortable. Uh, uh, there is, uh, there are no troubles, no difficulties. Uh, there are no issues in your life. It's just going with serene. You know, interestingly, the serenity can only be felt once we have gone through troubles. 
through vehemence, through adversity. If there is no adversity, no vehemence in our life, probably we won't feel that what serenity is. Like if there is no darkness, there will be no concept of light. Okay. When uh, there is darkness and when it moves away, so we say the, the absence of light is darkness or the absence of darkness is light. Okay. One thing is known through the other thing. Similarly, if something is noisome, the opposite is fragrant. Okay. So uh, something is smelly, something has a foul smell, the opposite will be fragrant. Okay. If somebody is visionary, okay, by visionary we mean there is an individual who has a vision, who has some uh, idea, and and that's it. Okay, there's no uh, practical work into that. That will be uh, quite you know uh, useless because only a vision cannot bring the results we have to have a vision and we have to have you know uh, practical things as well so if somebody is visionary that is the opposite will be practical a practical person does not much spend time on uh, uh, thinking okay he does what he is told therefore we have uh, a need of leaders who are visionary and uh, uh, the managers who are practical. The boss of the company does not do much work because he has a vision, he's a visionary. But the manager, uh, the subordinates, uh, the workers, they do most of the work because they are practical. There is somebody who is braggart, okay? Somebody who is very boastful actually, or talking always about himself or herself, uh, talking about all the things he or she have uh, uh, has achieved, talking about uh, uh, the qualities that one person has. Have, maybe they have the quality or they don't have the quality, but at least they talk about it a lot. They say it a lot. Okay, and on the opposite, we have somebody who is modest. Okay, modest is someone who does not talk much about himself. He, he knows a lot, he does a lot, or she knows a lot, or does a lot, but they do not talk much about it. Okay, they try to keep it a secret. Uh, they are kind of, they show humility, uh, another word. Uh, that can describe modesty is humility. Okay, they are quite uh, humble in their appearance. Okay, they don't uh, uh, be regret about their uh, the qualities or the achievements that they have made into their lives. So these are like some of uh, the entrance. There's a whole list of you know. Uh, words probably uh, you can find uh, uh, hundreds and uh, of uh, antonyms which uh, may come across you so one good idea is uh, the way I uh, suggest uh, students is that whenever you come across a word for example you come across a word like modest or humility or like adversity Okay, so do two things with that word. Write that word. Uh, for example, we know this word, adversity. Okay, think of one synonym of that word and one antonym of that word. In this way, you will know two words. Okay, so when there is adversity, uh, there is like vehemence. Okay. Uh, and uh, the antonym is prosperity. So uh, write a word, 
for example uh, the word is stupendous for instance okay stupendous what is the synonym of it stupendous means let's say s y n that is the synonym it means huge okay and what is the antonym uh, is like uh, minute okay so in this way you will come to know two words one synonym and one antonym of the same word